folks. Welcome to the little mining town of Rainbow Ridge, the gateway to nature's wonderland. As we head for the wilderness, a couple of suggestions. Please stay seated at all times and keep your hands and arms inside the train. The animals get mighty hungry. And uh, no smoking, please, because we don't want to start a forest fire. Now, beyond these hills lies nature's wonderland. You're apt to see a whole lot of wildlife, so keep a real sharp hunter's eye. As we come out of this first tunnel, we'll be entering Beaver Valley. Looks like the beavers are building another dam. Yes, sir. They're really busy as a... Well, busy as a beaver. Them little marmots over the tunnel must be a whistling to all you pretty gals. Can't say I believe them. If you've never gone beneath a waterfall before, then get set. Because we're coming up on Big Thunder. The biggest falls in all these here parts. You don't have to worry, though, unless the wind changes. <laughs> them other two falls, they call the twin sisters. You reckon that's because they're always babbling. <laughs> We're coming into bear country now, folks. And while we're crossing the old trestle, you gotta sit real still. No telling how long she's gonna last. You know, bears are one of the most playful animals there is. Lazy, too. All they want to do is lay around and scratch and fish and swim. That is, when they ain't sleeping. You know... Nature's wonderland is awful pretty. Sometimes she can be a mighty rugged place to live. Out here in the wilderness, the struggle for survival leaves only the strong and sometimes the lucky. See, look on that bank across Bear Creek there. Now there's a real struggle for survival. Two stags are battling for them cow elk. Maybe you folks can tell me, though, does getting two women folk mean you're the winner or the loser? Never could think that now. As we pass through old Natural Arch Bridge, you can see the great living desert down below. You know, the desert's a dry place and full of some pretty mean varmints. You gotta be careful of sidewinders, wild pigs, and even mountain lions. But the desert's got her beauty, too. Yellow streaks are running through them sandstone cliffs are called Coconino. The red... We call them Supai. Now ahead of us, folks, is a giant saguaro cactus forest. The desert heat sometimes gets to you and makes these here cactus take on strange shapes like animals. And sometimes even people. Aha! Look down there on your left. Them wild pigs is caught up with old Mr. Bobcat. He's in kind of a sticky situation. Hey, uh, ever hear of the devil's paint pots? Real mystery of the desert. Bubbling pots of mud in all kinds of colors. This is geyser country, too. Oh, oh, there she blows. I'm sure glad y'all brought your raincoat. But look out now. We never know when she's going to go off. That's why we call her Old Unfaithful. Look out now! <laughs> You folks in them last cars be ready. She's a threatening again. You know, I hear tell a long time ago dinosaurs roamed this area. Of course, all you find now is cactus, snakes, and coyotes. And sometimes the sun bleached bones of an ancient animal. There's the voice of the desert, the coyote. Now, folks, we gotta get through Balancing Rock Canyon. Look out! They're starting to tumble. Watch that wildcat, lady. Oh, <laughs> glad he stayed up there. We've known these critters to take on a full-grown deer more than ten times their size and weight. You know, last trip, a mountain lion showed up right over that tunnel. There's one now. So you better all be real quiet. <laughs> Now we're going deep into the earth to view the dazzling rainbow caverns. 
you see giant stalagmites, stalactites, and colorful falls on every side. See, if you look real careful, you see geyser grotto and even the witch's cauldron. <laughs>